15 Things Poor People Waste Money On Different socioeconomic classes choose to spend their money in different ways and different things. Rich people will usually buy more healthy foods, and poor people will often spend more money on junk food more than anything else. So generally all groups waste their money, but they do so on different items. The goal is to shine a light on possible mistakes you're making in daily life that are keeping you from moving forward, especially in the financial sense. As you go through this list, you might want to check with yourself to see if you're guilty of the same wasteful spending. Personal Trainers You have heard stories about how many personal trainers, rich people and celebrities have. They will make you see that this gives them the perfect body and keeps them healthy, but take a step back and think. This gives you a false belief that everyone needs to have a personal trainer to get in good shape, and this is not true, because if you want to change your body, your life, all you have to do is make a decision now and start working hard. It's like thinking there is this magic pill that your trainer has, that you take, and it magically transforms your life, but in reality, all you have to do is take action now. Beautification We all want to meet the beauty standards, and unfortunately, many poor people, especially women feel that rich women, are naturally more attractive. They believe that this is true, because rich women can afford to dye their hair regularly, wear the best makeup, and spend hours in the salon, but in reality, most rich women don't do this. The myth that poor people believe, is based on the way celebrities look, and not on what the typical entrepreneur woman does every morning. It's all about prioritization, when it comes to spending money. Fancy toys for the children. All parents want to give their children everything they ask for. You should not do this because you also want to raise children that understand the value of a dollar, how to save and realize they don't need whatever they want. While it is nice to treat your kids now and then, giving in every time they want an expensive new toy, game or device will run your finances dry. The best option is to keep their fancy devices and toys to a minimum and wait until a special occasion, such as Christmas or birthdays, to give the gifts to them. The wait will be worth it. Banking. You may believe it or not, but your bank is costing you money. You pay a commission when you put the money in, and you pay a commission when you ask them to give your money back. Interest rates these days are a joke and depending on where you live, they are not even keeping up with inflation. Putting money in the bank in a volatile economy is costing you money in both short and long term. Society is shifting so quickly that old lessons about saving money no longer apply. Fortune tellers and psychics. Let's be honest, even though you might not have spent money on a fortune teller or psychic, you have thought about it. It's a natural curiosity for people to learn as much as they can about their future, what direction they should take in life, or even experience. The truth is, your future depends on your choices, and if you want a good prospect, you need to make good choices, and doing this is for free. Instead of wasting your money on people who are giving you an educated guess, focus on paying down your debt so you can start saving money. Gambling. When mentors and successful people say you got to spend money to make money, they were not talking about lottery tickets. Betting, sports betting, lottery, and all that stuff are there to keep the poor people poor. These come with some degree of addiction. In one affluent continent, average spending on betting per individual is $1,000 every year and over two-thirds of the United Kingdom population agree to be spending on lottery beyond their budgets. These cases are not unique. Poor people fantasize about winning big someday. New trends. Your daughter is begging you for the latest fashionable jeans that cost over $100. And while you want her to have everything she needs, she doesn't even need these no matter how badly she thinks she does. Fashion and trends change quickly, and often overnight. If you start buying one item, 
you will need to purchase the next thing, because you need to keep up with your neighbors. However, you can't afford the jeans as quickly as your neighbors can. Keep in mind, you probably have other priorities for your finances. Games and in-app purchases. It's inevitable to feel pity for the poor people when they spend hours on end on gaming. The time and money the poor people spend on gaming adds no value to their lives. The same applies to apps that you are invited to buy. After giving you a taste of the free version, they will tell you that the premium version will get you to the next world. Apart from the financial cost of buying the app you really do not need, the time to explore it and to use it is for the most part a waste. Going out. We all need to go out and enjoy ourselves once occasionally, but at the same time be thoughtful about it. If you know that your anniversary is coming up in three weeks, and you are craving Chinese food, wait and go out for Chinese in your anniversary date. If your friends are going to the club on Fridays, stay in and enjoy a quiet evening at home for at least three weeks every month. Take one day a month and go out with your friends or invite them over to your house for a movie night. This is not to say that you shouldn't go out and enjoy a night every now and then, but you don't need to do it every Friday night or every payday. Health. One of the biggest mistakes poor people make is ignore their health because they can't afford health insurance, the doctor bill, to fix a cavity or glasses. The problem is when you ignore problems with your health, they become more significant problems and much more expensive. No matter what the issue is, ignoring your health will not make the problem disappear. You need to put your finances in order the best you can and then focus on the priority at hand which is getting yourself to the doctor, so you don't end up with a large hospital bill or operation later. Weird fitness products and miracle diets. You want to lose weight and do it quickly, but instead of focusing on eating healthy and finding yourself losing a couple of pounds a week, you decide to purchase the new miracle diet pill and a couple of fitness products that will help you exercise. You couldn't really spend the money on these items at the time, but you found a way to work around that by pushing back a couple of bills that can wait until next month. Not only does this send you into a bit of debt and increase your bills because you now have delayed fees, but the chances of these items working as you want are slim. If you don't have an exercise or weight loss plan, you will soon find your products collecting dust. The latest technology. Everyone loves to use the latest techs, as they sometimes come with exciting features. You may have a better phone, with a better camera, and something that looks new and of course is something that other people want, but you have it. It is important to remember the difference between having the money in your account, and being able to afford the item. When your car needs maintenance that is $800, and the new phone is priced at $800, what you can afford is to fix your car and not buy the new phone. Impulse purchases. One of the least rational things that poor people do is acting based on impulses. You are well aware of what are the essentials in your life, the things you really need. Everything else is just marketed to you, brainwashing you into thinking you need the product despite of you only wanting it. Advertisement blurs the poor's thinking faculty such that they will be unable to distinguish between want and need. The rich people do not buy impulsively. They are able to save tons of cash with which they can improve their financial lives. The moment you learn to differentiate between what you need and what you want, you'll begin to take control of your life. Smoking and vaping. Not only is this harmful to you, but poor people spend more money on smoking and vaping than any other socioeconomic category. This means that you will spend around $200 on cigarettes every month, especially if you go through a half of a pack to a whole pack every day. To put this into perspective, without inflation, the cost you spend on cigarettes every year is $2,400, and the price for 10 years is $24,000. Take a moment to think about what you can spend that money on, 
such as saving up for a new car or house, or you could also put that money into savings for your retirement. If you want to stop smoking, there are multiple ways, such as reading a self-help book or visiting the doctor. Credit cards. Credit cards are the last thing poor people should be considering. It's like digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole you will never be able to escape. Credit cards are used to trade temporary finance for someone's time and livelihood. The moment you go into debt, you're no longer working for yourself, you're working for the bank. Your life is no longer yours until that debt is repaid. Poor people max out credit cards, like it's a monthly hobby, and usually on non-essential things. It's quite easy to get caught up in this financial whirlwind that you'll never be able to escape. 